I don't know if you guys can hear that in the distance. Hey everyone, I'm at the Pine Ridge Self-Guiding Trail in Birds Hill Provincial Park. This is the fifth video in my Birds Hill Park series. And uh, yeah, it's 2.4K out and 2.4K back in a perfectly straight line. I don't see this being very challenging. I am, however, running out of daylight, so at some point in this video, I'll probably have to put on my headlamp. But uh, yeah, if you haven't already, uh, hit the subscribe button. If you uh, want to get notifications, make sure you hit the bell and uh, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. It's pretty early, actually, in the trail. It has a little side trail to this little homestead. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty neat little place. But uh, this is within a couple hundred meters of the parking lot. Okay, so I'm just going down the trail now. And as you can see behind me, it's pretty easy, fairly flat, which is really, really common for Birds Hill Park. But it's a, a nice, easy place to get away from the city and do some hiking, even uh, if you're much like myself and your fitness level isn't exactly the greatest. Hour from Prairie Winds Trail. Huh. So uh, the camera's further away now because I actually invested in a selfie stick. That way I'm not covering the microphone or obstructing it. And I can get a bit further back with the, uh, the camera since I often do a lot of my hiking solo. But uh, yeah, thank you all to the, for the very supportive comments and all that it's been really really awesome and uh i'm really hoping that my videos can maybe inspire some people that are a little nervous about getting out for the first time to just get out and try it i uh, haven't run into anybody hiking that's been pretty judge like anywhere near judgmental or mean about about, like, about seeing me I lost kind of today, but uh, you know, most people are actually generally fairly impressed. I mean, I'm not exactly a very small guy, and she being a ginger alone makes me stand out. So, I run to a lot of people who usually express that they're very proud of me. So, I hope to maybe. Like I said, encourage some other people to get out and give it a try. You don't have to go fast. You don't have to keep up with anybody. You just try your best, go at your own pace, and you'll be uh, absolutely surprised what you can accomplish. Halfway across the path, you actually come into Birds Hill Campground, and you cut across. So if you're wanting to uh, stop for a snack or get a drink or anything there's a store in the middle of the campground that you can definitely go to as well as this little section here is paved but uh You scared the hell out of me, bud. I know you're watching me. You're probably gonna run for it soon. Let's see how close you let me get. Oh, it's okay, bud. Are you gonna come back? Hey, you're curious, ain't you? That tree line, as it's starting to get dark, is kind of looking pretty freaky. I still probably got five minutes in that direction to go. And uh, I'm kind of curious how eerie that's going to look after dark. I am at the east trailhead now. Uh, there's like a washroom stuff here, so I uh, took a quick break, had a drink, put on my headlamp because as you can see in the west, the sun is gone. So get some night hiking for a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna try this video to be a, bit, a little bit longer. 
and talk a bit more. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys like the longer format or if you want me to kind of try to stick to keeping them below five minutes. And I will uh, check in again in a bit. Oh, I think it. There you go. The deer found me again. <laughs> hey, deer. Anyways, you uh, carry on doing deer stuff. I don't know if you can hear the howling in the distance, but uh, I think I'm going to stop listening to music for the remainder of the trail just so I can pay more attention to what's going on around me, because I am almost back into the bush, so I will uh, check in with you guys again in a bit. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the distance, but it's uh, making my first night hike of the season a little more unnerving. So I'm uh, trying to hurry up and get back to the truck. I have a friend that lives about two, three kilometers outside the park, and we see coyotes and bears at his place all the time. So, uh, that is the one thing when you do come to this park, especially as it starts to get dark out, is the wildlife starts to become more active. Because don't have any misconceptions. Uh, you are not in the city when you're here. You are in the, in the wild. And there are wild animals. There's a lot of deer in this park, actually quite often is overpopulated with deer so it makes the perfect habitat for predators like bears and coyotes recently there was a pack of wolves near the park but I believe conservation had uh, relocated them so part of this this part of the blog is just I'm a little nervous because this is my first night hike alone outside of Winnipeg. So talking to the camera makes me feel a little bit better. And yeah, I, I am carrying a bear banger. Um, so if I do see any bears or coyotes, I can set it off. Hopefully scare them off. I think I'm only about 10... Ten to twelve minutes from the truck, so as long as I don't get more nervous, I should continue to walk it. I think if I keep getting a bit more uncomfortable, I start hearing that howling get a bit closer. I think I might try my hand at trail running a little bit, just jog it. But we will uh, see what happens. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to all my subscribers. Uh, you guys have made me feel so great. I uh, started regularly producing videos and uploading them a few weeks ago. And in less than a month, I've grown to over 100 subscribers, which is pretty amazing. And uh, well, that wasn't like that earlier. Awesome. Uh, it's pretty awesome makes me super happy so I've raised my goal I uh, want to see if I can get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2019 so if you guys could all do to help me out with that that'd be amazing make this uh, flatlander guy more popular on YouTube I guess because I don't think there's that many really big YouTube channels from Manitoba Never mind one 
focused so heavily around hiking and outdoors. So, yeah. So a lot of the noises in the grass are freaking me out. Uh, probably didn't help that I spent most of the morning listening to creepy pastas on YouTube. So that uh, definitely doesn't help. I've got a pretty good imagination I always have. But uh, yeah, if you guys could uh, hit the subscribe button, I'll put one up at the end of the video and uh, try to help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. That'd be amazing. And uh, yeah.